Singapore, meanwhile, is finalizing security for the North Korea-U.S. summit, with the leaders due to arrive in the city-state today. And there's a lot of anticipation there, but all the extra security doesn't seem to have phased the locals or visitors. EG1 is part of our special team in Singapore to cover the summit this week, and she filed this report. In a couple of days from now, the first ever summit between North Korea and the United States will be held at the Capella Hotel in Singapore. And as much as this is a historic event for the world, the city-state is working round the clock to prepare for the summit and ensure airtight security for the leaders. Especially at Sentosa Island, where the Capella Hotel is located and where security was ramped up starting Sunday. As announced by the Singapore Police Force a few days ago, the island has been declared a special event area from Sunday to Thursday, which means restrictions on the use of drones, flags, banners and flammable materials. The three ways of getting onto the island, by bridge, cable car and monorail, will remain open, but people and visitors are subject to spot checks. So far, the tighter security doesn't seem to bother tourists on the island too much. The other special event areas designated for the summit are the hotels where the two leaders are likely to stay, Trump at the Shangri-La and Kim Jong-un at the St. Regis. On Saturday, the St. Regis was bustling with construction workers setting up security checkpoints and blocking off roads. The four lanes that pass in front of the hotel have been separated by temporary concrete barricades, two lanes now leading cars to the hotel and the others used for the original route. Vehicles and drivers on these roads are also subject to inspections. We have received letters about it to expect security checks. If we're driving past where um, any of the presidents are, are staying, um, there will be particular checks there. But despite the heavy traffic, the security guards and throngs of journalists, locals seem more excited for than annoyed by the summit. I think everyone's quite positive about it and um, no one's really complaining. Um, you know, I think everyone is quite honoured that such an important event is being held in our city. The Shangri-La Hotel, where U.S. President Donald Trump is likely to stay, was rather tranquil. Having hosted the Asia Security Summit just a few days ago, the hotel had already built a security checkpoint and made other necessary arrangements. With the leaders to arrive soon, there's a sense of quiet anticipation in the city, and the world will be watching keenly to see what kind of welcome they get. Easy one, Arirang News, Singapore.